table in HiveQL as well as how to copy the particular table from Hive to EdgeBase. Okay. So here on the Cloudera window, we firstly we go on the terminal. Okay. Here we type Hive. In that we have to create the database. So command is create database. Sorry. Database. Database name is a uh, folder two. Then I have to use that. So use folder two. Then I have to create the table. So to save the name of that table is flight. Okay. From that flight information section. From that we take our table name as flight. So create table flight. In that attributes are flight number of type uh, integer in comma and source okay source is source bad guy of size 10 after that year year of data type is integer and then delay delay is in float okay so complete that bracket. So here our table is created. Now we have to use the alter command. So alter is used for renaming the particular table name as well as for the adding the columns into that particular existing table. Okay. So alter table flight. We are going to change the particular flight name into the air flight. Okay. So flight rename, okay. Rename to AR underscore flight semicolon, okay. Again, by using alter table, we are going to add uh, one column into that particular AR flight table. So alter table AR underscore flight. Add, add columns into Kunsa column at the up and destination ka. so destination of type var care okay of size 10 again then complete back with semicolon okay so here one column is added into that particular AR underscore flight table okay now we have to drop the existing table that is a flight one okay so drop table drop table flight so our flight table is we can drop after that now we have to enter data by comma separated values okay so for that we have to use that command that is the PA table flight okay F number integer then source of bar cache of size 10 then year comma year of integer Okay, and destination is instead of destination, we are going to use the uh, delay. Okay, delay
then row format delimited means our data is in row format okay enter fields are separated by means fields terminated by commas okay we can use space here okay then lines are terminated by lines terminated by backslash n okay means each data is in new line okay so store as a text file We got the error. Okay, a spelling delimited. So create a table. Delimited is M I. Okay. Then Fields are separated by commas after that slash and backslash and okay text file okay now we have to insert we are going to insert the particular data in the format of f number source years and daily in comma separated value like this okay so in the insert into flight values so values are 215 comma 2024 not after that flight number is this sources sources uh, pune then year comma year is 2023 okay comma delay time is 15 minutes okay in float so this closing that particular bracket semicolon and then enter so this particular data is get inserted into that particular table flight okay after that we are going to Okay, the data is successfully added. Again, we are going to add some more fields. Okay, so insert into flight. Again, we are going to insert the particular data into the flight table. Flight values, sorry, flight values bracket. So here is the two hundred and sixteen. Again. The flight number two hundred and sixteen, comma source will be the Kolkata. Then uh, year year is the two thousand twenty four, and delay time is the ten minutes. Semicolon. So this data is also inserted into that particular flight table. Now we can show that particular data by typing that command. Select star from select star from flight. Okay, flight semicolon. So here we recently added that particular data that is the flight number, source, year, and the uh, delay 